Okay, hi everybody. So um, one of the things that we know about ChatGPT is that it cannot access the internet and that it does not have any information uh, beyond 2021, right? But I think that has changed now with some of the extensions that have been written for browsers like the Chrome browser. So for example, if we go into Chrome, which is here, um, and we typed in uh, web chat GPT, which is uh, uh, an extension that attaches to Chrome, and we said add to Chrome, add the extension. That will add this extension here, um, and it will allow the, the chat GPT now to access the internet and to get information uh, from the internet, which otherwise it would be closed off from. Okay, so this is it allows a small portal for uh, chat GPT to connect with the internet. And um, you can hear when you search, when you ask your regular prompt, uh, when you make your regular request in chat GPT, you can also here select how many results you want from the internet. So I'll just select five. There's a time period, any time, any region, and then default. So I already have a, uh, a question that I already wrote about climate change. This is a question that I've been using, uh, that I've used in previous videos. I think it's a good one because climate change is changing always. And so the question simply is, can you tell me about climate change in 2023? Only look at government-based and or scholarly sources for information. Please include one quote and explanation. Write a 250 word commentary. Let's see what it does with that. And I've selected here search on the web. So that's important, right? So that's turned on. You can turn that off as well. And uh, you can select from one result up to 10 results. I've selected five right in between. Okay, so I'll say go. And so already, if we scroll back up, it actually finds the sources first, then writes the commentary. So here you'll see one, two, three, four, five sources. The first source is something from the EPA and the American government. The second one is climate.gov, climate.gov, un.org, and then NASA, okay? And so here's what it's writing. Climate change refers to the long-standing, the long-term changes in temperature, precipitation, wind patterns, blah, 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 divided administration, blah, blah, blah. And then here's the first citation. So that's interesting as well, because I think some of the things that um, people have questioned or critiqued ChatGPT about is whether it could cite things, or that it's that it's not very good at citing things. Oddly enough, when you attach this uh, Chrome extension, which uh, allows it to um, surf the internet for information, it already begins to cite the actual pages that it's looking at. So that's pretty good, actually. So in some respects, this plugin allows for two things. Uh, it allows for access to up-to-date information beyond 2021, and then it also um, allows us to understand uh, where it's getting the information from. It's actually citing as well. So that's quite good. Um, yeah. So and, and then you can also have it have a more, uh, if you will, regional or granular search. So let's say I'm just looking at Canada. And then again, I'll, I'll keep it at five. Oh, let's say here, let's, I can make it 10 results. And then I'm gonna paste in another climate change question. Can you write a 200 word comment on the dangers of climate change in the context of Vancouver, BC in 2023? Please mention wildfires, heat domes and rising sea levels. Enter. Okay, so it's already found, it's quite fast in that sense. It's kind of interesting, right? It's already found these 10 sites, it cited them already and it already knows in a way which um, passages to quote as you can see, all 10 there. Nice citations, uh, properly done. Um, climate change presents significant dangers to Vancouver, BC in 2023 and beyond. One major impact, blah, blah, blah. Severity of wildfires, heat dome, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's, let's check the citations, let's see. Here, sea level rise caused by oceans expanding. Okay, so let's, let's see if, that, if, it had, if that's a real URL or whether it hallucinated that, um, that citation. Paste it in there. I think it will be here. Let's see, see level rise. 
Yeah, so this is the city of Vancouver web page. It has sea level rise issues on its page. And in fact, there you go. It has actually a document that's that's already looking at November 22, December 22, January 23rd, 20, 2023, and, and February 2023. So it is looking at recent 2023 information. So I do think it's not making this up. It is actually going onto the website. And it is actually, sorry, uh, um, accessing the web and writing this a passage that I asked it to write this 200 word comment on dangers of climate change and also citing as well at the same time. So I think that's a game changer. I think some people have suggested to me in passing, well, maybe I'll write, for example, assignments where um, they have to access up to date information and that will uh, rule out use of GPT because it only has access to 2021 information. And I think this is proof of concept that that might be changing. Okay, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed that.